hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite cake girl adeola on oh, cake so in this video today i'm going to be showing you guys how i wrapped the bible to make this shirt if this is something that interests you definitely watch this video to the end and um, if you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to give me a thumb up drop a comment share and please hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell if you have not <music> This Bible is one of the gifts I gave my husband for his birthday surprises. If you want to see the video of how the surprises went, then watch my last two videos. So first thing you need is the book you want to wrap and the paper you want to use to wrap it. It has to be black so that the concept of the shirt and um, tie can come out better. It actually can be another color but I think black just pops. So you're going to wrap it like this. Just cut a paper that can, you know, that the book can fit in properly then you wrap it and glue it down um i used the um, auto glue you can use uhu glue or even shoemaker's glue and you're going to tuck in the two ends like i'm doing tuck it in and glue it as well then i have the two ends tucked in now then i cut a long strip of um of black paper or black card that's what i'm going to use to do the the bottom parts of the shirt like so just fold it on the two sides just as you can see in this video just fold it like that and put it at the middle of the um book you already wrapped and sealed right just put it at the middle then you wrap it around the book like that and mine was too long so i cut it to fit i cut it to fit and then you're going to either glue it you can just glue it or um you make it go into each other you make it enter can you see i cut it here and then i just opened one of the ends and fixed the other one into it and that's it i decided not to glue it so that i can i can remove it easily but i mean if it's going to a long distance you can just glue it down so i just opened one end and i passed the other end into it just like so and it was tight can you see that it was fitted so the shirt part has been done and then the next thing to do is to arrange it properly like so make sure that it is well at the center like that and then i'm going to work on the pockets i just called a small square um black card just very small square and i fold all the edges like you can see in this video like i'm doing i'm just going to fold it like that and then place it um in front of the shirt to form like a pocket can you see that and i'm just going to glue that down just make it very small i had to adjust it but because this was um a little bit too wide for the space available for pockets so you just fold it like so can you see then just place it there now it is perfect it is not so wide it is perfect for the pockets and then i glued it down just glue it down okay i think i even went ahead to reduce the size again and then you just glue it down so now i cut out red art um from red card i just drew this art with my hand and then i cut it out and then i sticked it on the pocket so next now we are going to do the color so um i get another long triangle sheet of um this black paper and I fold it as you can see in this video. Please, you need to pay attention to this video to get the exact way I'm folding everything I'm folding and using. So once I've, um, I was done folding, I just placed it at the top of my already wrapped book as a shirt. And then I formed the color like so. If you don't get this part very well, you can... Um, try to watch this video several times until you get how i folded that color then the next thing is the um the bow tie for the shirt the bow tie so i just folded my another red card like so you can use red paper this is red card but you can use red paper so that it is easy for you to fold it easily and then bend it so um I need to put that red that um tie first before i put the color so i'm going to fold the i folded the um card into two so that it can it can form that bow tie effect very well so that you can form that bow tie effect very well you can even use a bow design you know like the real bow design or do this folding of paper like i did 
so i'm just going to arrange it and make it open up like so can you see that that's the reason why i folded it at the middle so that i can have the middle thin and the other sides opened up can you see so the next thing is to just glue this down with alt glue or uhu glue or shoemaker's glue whatever glue and then in the pocket of that shirt i have a note that i put inside so this is me just writing the note happy birthday um my my husband what am i even writing i should have wrote something in that note and i put it into the pocket so that it gets that out and read what i have to say there and that's it so i, I actually cut another smaller art and stick this to the pocket to make it double ads on the pocket like so so after writing this my notes i put it inside the pocket hole like so and that's it voila my shirt was ready my book my book wrapped as a shirt was ready and i'm glad that my husband really liked it what do you think guys so for the button i didn't know what to use so i had to grab um pearl sprinkles for kicks that's what i glued to make the button this was pretty easy and straightforward to make. Make sure to tag me when you make it. I am on Instagram as Baking with Adiola. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe. Bye.